this dang thing is bulletproof. All right, welcome everybody now. In case y'all didn't know, they just dropped a banger. Like literally, Elon Musk just came out with the finally the, the Cybertruck. Finally, it's legit. This thing is faster than a sports car and more truck than a truck. And like, look at this mess. Look at this. Now, I don't know why, but to me, for some reason, the Cybertruck literally looks like it looks like some out of like 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 an 80s movie like from terminator like you know when an 80s movie they like their idea of what the future looks like everything is always all boxy and clunky but like surprising like the performance is like ridiculous this thing's got more towing and truck ability than the ford f-350 diesel version because they show footage of the truck pulling event which is like how you gauge how much of a truck your truck really is you know like it's beating every single other vehicle that's out there f-350 even trucks like the rivian and the ford lightning like it's smoking these vehicles like the ford lightning they shouldn't even be able to call that thing a ford lightning because it's not lightning at all it's just it's just an electric f-150 i did a review of that of that vehicle you should check it out but look at this the cyber truck the cyber truck went all the way to the end of the track and they had to turn a little bit just before to make sure they don't go off the dang course went 317 feet the f-350 like i beat the f-350 and everything like let's examine this a little bit further cyber truck 318 feet F-350, 263 feet. The Rivian R1T, 257 feet. And then the F-150 Lightning, 207 feet. For the Cybertruck to be able to do that, and it's like an actual production vehicle now? Like, I know there's been a lot of talk about the Cybertruck for a long time, and it's like it's like nothing was happening forever. But this thing finally came out now. Like, it showed, like, the delivery. Like, it actually showed, like, people actually receiving their vehicle. Another banger on this thing. Not only is it more truck than any other truck out there but this thing is more sports car than a sports car too like when you think of a sports car what car do you think of porsche 911 right now what car do you think is faster than that there's cars faster than you know lamborghini and stuff like that I mean, to be expected but definitely not no trucks they show this damn thing beating the porsche 911 brand new porsche 911 in a drag race down it not only did it get it from the beginning it got it all the way to the end so let's check that out Look, you see lines up. They both lined up. Got the cameras on them and everything. You got the Space Age 80s future truck. Look, see, look. They're going and getting them right up the line, right up the line. Getting it. Big old truck. Keep on. Now, watch, pay attention because it's something else. Extra surprise. So he's in the front the whole time. But did you see that? He's pulling a Porsche 911 behind it. The Cyber Truck not only did it beat the Porsche 911, but it beat it in a quarter mile. Under 11 seconds, 0 to 60, 2.6, it beat the Porsche 911, pulling a Porsche 911, and stayed in front of it the whole time. Think about that. That's crazy. This is how you know it's legit. You can go to the website, go to tesla.com, and you can see a Cybertruck. Look at this little funky little spelling font right there. You don't even know it says Cybertruck unless you already saw it behind the Cybertruck. It looked like some sixth grader trying to attempt to try to make do graffiti. I think they had the same dude who designed the body of the Cybertruck do the same thing with that graffiti. It was like, all right, man, you need to come out here and shine again. We need to see your scales again. Now, and they look, you can go on here, you can order now. And this is the actual website. You can go on there, look. The price, surprisingly cheaper than I thought. Rear wheel drive, $49,890, available. Oh, okay, okay, I see, that's the catch. The more affordable version ain't available till 2025. 250 mile range, estimated 6.5 seconds, zero to 60. So the one that you saw in video, beating that Porsche 911, out pulling the F-350, that one is the only one that's available. All wheel drive version, estimated 68,890, delivery 2024, 340 mile range, 4.1 seconds, zero to six. That's still not the same one that we saw in the video. 120 miles per hour, top speed, 600 horsepower, 7,435 foot pounds of torque, 11,000 pounds towing capacity, damn. And then you come down a little bit more, you got the Cyber Beast. I think this is the one that they show in the videos. The Cyber Beast, delivery 2024, 320 miles range, 2.6, seconds zero to 60 that's the crazy one that's the one everybody's paying the money for 130 top speed i mean you don't need to be able to go too fast in this thing this truck i mean most of the fun is in the low speed when you go off the gun crazy fast is for the porsche 9 so porsche 911 is let me they still got even though this thing may be able to beat it off the line this thing at a certain point where this thing it ain't safe to drive that fast <laughs> like this one has 845 horsepower and 10,000. what Hold up, no way. This is crazy. 10,296 foot pounds of torque. 
What? And this is all the Tesla. Damn, two thousand. That's a Tesla web, and you can order one today <laughs> for two hundred fifty day, two hundred fifty dollars. You can order one today, and of course, it's fully refundable. So, like, imagine that having a truck that could outdo the typical trucks, outperform performance cars. So you know, you know them racer boys. They're gonna be pulling up trying. They're gonna be like, you know, they're gonna be trying to get you. You, you only got to use the big toe. <laughs> scoot on past the only thing is, is the way it looks i mean is i bet in a few years this thing is gonna be super popular people are gonna be loving like man that new cyber truck is dope you seen it in person it's like one of the vehicles that's gotta grow on you you gotta start looking at the the features that you like according to it you know and i can already kind of see what i like about it too you know i mean i seen that little viral clip of the cyber truck rolling around there it looked like a tundra i mean it looked like kind of dope like that i mean you get this thing wrapped like that or even something, some kind of special exterior kind of design on this thing where a wrapper make it look kind of cool. I bet you make this thing look cooler than it is right now. I think it's supposed to like give you like that performance and power, but at the same time, not have to worry about keeping it all pretty, you know? It's like a, a vehicle that's, yes, it's crazy, but at the same time, it's practical. You can use this thing. You don't got to worry about braking. You can actually go fast and this thing. You can actually pull things in it. It's actually usable. And it, oh, oh my gosh. I just forgot about this. This dang thing is bulletproof. Freaking Elon said that they made a they made a special metal, special metal for them just for this truck. Metal didn't exist until they made it. He's shooting bullets at the outside of it, and the metal is just absorbing like all that energy and not letting it go through. That's crazy. And he said, "Why'd you make it bulletproof?" He said, "Because we could. Like regular trucks, if you shoot a bullet, it's gonna go through." Like it seems seems like this truck is almost like kind of like a getting y'all ready for the future. I mean, he did drop a little a little comment talking about you know it's like post apocalyptic number one provider and post apocalyptic technology. I mean, I don't know what the what the plan is with this thing, but it seems pretty ridiculous. I mean, a bulletproof truck. Like, let me just read you what the slogan is that what they put built for any planet. I mean, come on. Durable and rugged enough to go anywhere. Tackle anything with electronically adaptive air suspension that offers 12 inches of travel and 17 inches of clearance. Dang, this thing is better than a Jeep Wrangler. Man, this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> like literally bulletproof. It's faster than a Porsche and it's going to out pull an F350 and it's electric. It's quiet and it rides super smooth. This thing ain't no truck. This is something else. This is like, this is the Tron vehicle. This is like straight, like this is a future, like prisoner mobile that you see on RoboCop or like Terminator where they come in for like the guys. And it's like a scene from like the future. You know, they come out with the big old corny looking outfits, you know, and they come with, they got the goofy RoboCop helmet and they come and take you. They take you out of some desolate place just like this, you know, and then they lock you up. Like, look, this thing is so unique. It's not even painted. So you ain't got to worry about it getting scratched. Like, that's the whole point. Make it to be super practical. I'm telling you, it's like post-apocalyptic vehicle. You ain't got to worry about keeping it pretty. You ain't got to worry about keeping it uh, on scratch. Because look at this. No paint, no chips. An ultra-hard stainless steel exoskeleton helps to reduce dents, damage, and long-term corrosion. So no corrosion. Repairs are simple and quick. You see how durable this is? This ain't no regular aluminum shell. It said if your vehicle get into a fight with another one, you're going to win. This thing is like the way vehicles are supposed to be built. Like to where like imagine if this thing came in different colors. Hit with the grocery cart. Boom. Um, it's all right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's made of the composite. Yeah, the, the special metal, the Elon Musk metal. Yeah. Yeah, it's no worries, buddy. Yeah, this yeah, this is a cyber, yeah, cyber truck. Yeah. And people might be even concerned about like storage for this thing. Like, look, you have the doors open. You got a frunk in the front. Don't forget, you got the trunk in the back that pops open and that little cover is retractable. So it goes like, so like, forget like a tunnel cover. And a lot of people get to get like, they get the little tunnel cover for the back of their pickup truck. This thing is comes with one that's like roll up retractable and it's strong. Like it's, I'm telling you, this is Terminator truck right here. This thing can hold 25 hundred pounds that's a lot of crap like the message that they're trying to send with this thing is ridiculous i mean like look at this picture it's got the thing going through the the scenic 
Riviera out there in the ancient Yukon across the Pacific wilderness with the Wrangler and the Rubicons and everything. Like, this is some crazy stuff. Into the wild. Travel to 340 miles on a single charge, enough to get you into the backcountry and beyond. Recover up to 136 miles of range with just 15 minutes of supercharging. Look, I say you can even power your site. Operate your tools, charge your EV, integrate 120 volt and 240 volt. Damn. Bed and cabin outlets during a grid outage provided to 11.5 kilowatts of power directly to your home to keep, help keep the lights on. It's like the capability is like what you can do with this thing. It's like it's like a house on wheels almost. It's like more than a house on wheels. It's like the almost like the ultimate mobile home. Only thing you need is like extended range or something. You know, if I had like give me 600, 500 miles, you know, then they'd be like, OK, this is dopamine on tap. So, you know what that means? That pleasure receptor goes zero to 60 in just 2.6 seconds. Like you said, in beast mode while maintaining high speed stability with steer by wire and rear steering. So like he was saying, this thing steers on a dime. This thing turns like this has a better turning radius than the Tesla Model S. And the S is smaller than this, you know, so think about that. You get the handle of a sports car and a better turning radius than most sedans. I mean, I'm, four wheel steering, that's like, it's gonna be like that with any vehicle if you got four wheel steering. Look at this interior. Now, I ain't gonna lie, the Model 3 and the Y and the S, their interior is like first glance, first impression is like, oh, this is pretty decent. But you know, as you get used to it, it's very, very, very simplistic. You see that ambient light right there? That's dope. Comfortable inside, immerse yourself in a spacious modern cavern packed with advanced technology features and entertainment. I seen the new Model S, I did a review of it. I gotta say that back climate control screen is probably one of the biggest climate control screens I've seen in many vehicles. I think I've only seen like one or two other vehicles that had a big, actually a decent sized screen in the back passengers for like, just for, you know, just for the climate control, just the regular, the screen that comes included in the vehicle not having to like upgrade to the screens behind the headrest and stuff like that as far as like just what comes with the vehicle regular this one theater on wheels massive 18.5 inch infinity touch screen in the front and 9.4 inch touch screen in the back with an all new user interface crispy clear and then of course you know a tesla style with that panoramic huge glass roof I think Tesla was like the game changer, like the ones the first to really start that thing and make it normal. I mean, there's been glass top vehicles since like, I think like the fifties and sixties or something like that, but they were like always one off. They were never like a real main thing. You know, now Tesla started this thing with this whole huge glass roof thing. And now it was like, when you see an electric car, it's like a standard, like Lucid Air does it, you know, Rivian's doing it. Like everyone, every electric car brand is doing the whole just glass roof thing you know, except for the Ford Lightning, you know, they got just the regular panoramic. <laughs> Expand your horizon. Plenty of room for five adults with expansive cabin views through all glass roof. They're selling me on this thing because I'm sure like the inside is like its own environment. It ain't like regular, like, look, it's got the lady with the Afro packing it up. Like, damn, it look kind of dope. You get the roof racks on there. That's some next level type thing right there. That's a next, that's a thing right there. Dang, with the little tent hook up in the back. That's like how people be rolling around with the Jeeps and they like got the whole setup in the back. They got their little mobile portable tent thing back there, you know, so they can whenever, wherever they go anywhere, they can set up and be camping anywhere. Imagine having your power, everything already with you. And well, hold up, what that, that dude kind of looked like me if I had like dreads. I think they're trying to plant some subconscious message. Bring your family, get the cyber truck. I think it might be working. Uh, dang, look at that. It gotta light up the world. I didn't know this thing came with light bars like that. I knew it had the main one in the front, but this one right here, that gives you that intimidating look. And plus you can actually see with that, like this thing is like, that's some really usable stuff. It's not just like, oh, it, it's a light bar. that had an item on there for that one time. You know, this is like, it's like built in it's not just like hanging off there light bar illuminates your path up to 525 yards that's more than five football fields installation required so that means it doesn't come with it but it looks like it i mean it's like probably like a small little attachment but i think it's because it's from factory i bet it looks seamless like look like the picture right there it looks seamless so it looks like it just kind of just attaches on it because this thing has a super good drag coefficient so it's like aerodynamic surprisingly as well especially since you got that tonal cover that closes down so i got a feeling that that light bar is not going to really impede in anything 
so right here we got the cyber beast specs so we got cyber beast all wheel drivers and then the rail with the real wheel drive so cyber beast is like the one that's like the top all the crazy that's the one that they did the the demonstration with of course and then in the future they're going to come out with the cheaper one you know the rear wheel drive one that's like 49k you know i'd have to go with the cyber beast one i think that's the one pe most people are going to be one anyway because you know that's how he's that's how he's funding us you know you gotta sell the expensive one first and then you use the money that you made from that to suddenly make some cheaper ones you know that's how that's the same thing he did with the tesla s but the good thing is like no matter which one you get cyber beast all -wheel drive all -wheel drive it's still the same dimensions and everything so you probably wouldn't even be able to tell unless like you like the real unless you like the real tesla guy like hold on hold on buddy that's not a cyber beast so right now the only one you can get is the cyber beast that's the top spec that one but i seem like the most fun one that's the one mm. Mm. This has been Slay Asian Media. I hope you learned something. I hope you found value in this video. And stay tuned for more content because I do car reviews as well. So check out my other videos. If you like this kind of content, leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. More videos coming soon. Peace.